Hello and welcome to God's View. So glad you joined us today. Please call those prayer lines as we're going through the program, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. Don't go throw things alone. I tell you that all the time. I mean, have somebody agree with you. You're going to feel so much better and you're going to see breakthrough because we believe in agreement here. I'm, I'm a person that firmly believes that there's a lack of agreement uh, in prayer. You know, people say, oh, I'll pray for that, I'll pray for that, I'll pray for that. But no, if you really take it to the Father in faith, in agreement, you're going to see breakthrough. And that's what we believe here. Here. Our prayer lines are strictly for that, not to solicit or get your address or send you all kinds of letters asking for donations, which are donations bad? No, we'd love them. But our prayer lines are so that you can see breakthrough. Amen. And so please call them. Don't go through things alone. With that said, let me welcome you to the program. I'm Charlene back to Mary, one of your God's View hosts. This is Jennifer Griffin, Priscilla Pruitt, and Lana Gardner. And we all adore you. And we're so thankful that you <laughs> yes. tuned in today. We seriously are. We, we love doing these programs. And I'll tell you why. It's not just because we love to get dressed up and be on TV, but God has <laughs> called us. There's a call in our heart. Mm. And, and we are driven to do these. And we're driven to encourage you. We're driven to see you come out of a place mm -hmm. that the enemy has maybe tried to torture you or put you in and to where you haven't taken your position in the move of God or or whatever and we're talking about mercy and grace today and God is full of mercy his mercies are new every morning great is his faithfulness and so he is here today to give you grace give you mercy and if you're going through anything anything and the devil is throwing things at you there's grace and mercy and we're going to be talking <laughs> about the hallelujah hey, so man. anybody who wants to shoot I'll, I'll shoot start only okay. because i'd like to give yeah. the definition so you understand yes. that good. mercy is god withholding you what you deserve if we didn't have jesus and his shedding his blood and dying for us we deserve death, hell, and the grave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mercy takes us out of hell and gives us forgiveness and accepts our cries mm -hmm. begging for forgiveness. Yes. Grace is God gives you what you don't deserve. <laughs> and what, what, is, what does that mean exactly? Well, we have uh, forgiveness of our sins. That's our mercy. But grace, he goes a step further, not just forgives our sins, but makes us royalty, gives us eternal life. Mm -hmm. There are, you know, there are no servants in heaven. Wow. I, I don't know how that's, that, that's going to arrange. <laughs> but there yeah. are no servants. Oh, going to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. We're all priests and kings, mm. and, and God has that's awesome. just raised us up. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, showing grace and mercy isn't always easy. And I think about all the things I've had to go through. Even now, being in the public eye, it's like I'm constantly being attacked. There's these bullies and these hurtful words, and it's it's hard. It's hard. People attack me on my stance on pro-life, you know? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we get so upset that we don't want to show mercy and grace. Even though we're Christians, it's hard. But mercy is more than just a feeling. Mercy is always followed by an action. Think about that. It's always followed by an action. You have to act in mercy and grace. You have to. If you want to feel, if you want to think that mercy is a feeling, you're, you're incorrect. It's mm -hmm. not, oh, 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 I feel mercy for them. I'm not upset. No, then show it. Give mm -hmm. them love. Show it in a way. Now think about how Jesus showed mercy, his endless, unconditional mercy. It reminds me of the story when they came to arrest Jesus. Simon Peter drew a sword and he struck the high priest soldiers and cut off his right ear. And this was one of the soldiers that was coming to arrest him. Think about that. And yet he touched a soldier's ear and he healed them. And then think about the, the adulterous woman. Jesus was the epitome of mercy and grace. Yeah. And it says in the Bible, blessed are the merciful for they shall receive mercy. If we don't give mercy, we can't receive mercy. And so I know that I am nothing, nothing without God's mercy. I need mercy. So in order for me to receive that mercy, when I get to heaven, 
I need to extend that mercy to others. That's, That's good. right. Mm -hmm. good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> That's very good. You know, in a scripture that I have, I have quite a few scriptures, I just kind of wrote down some on mercy. And uh, one of them is in uh, 2 Samuel 24, 14. David said to God, I am in deep distress. And some people, when you're in distress and you're having hard times, there's always mercy. I'm telling you, his mercies are new every morning. And he goes, Amen. I am in deep distress. Let us fall into the hands of the Lord, for his mercy is great. Mm -hmm. But do not let me fall into the hands of humans. Praise God. Because what you're saying, humans can be cruel. Oh. They came against you. And they attacked hard. you. God always has a scripture to flow with yes. something. Mm -hmm. Who would have known Second Samuel that I wrote down would go with? You know, he's just amazing. That's because he's merciful. <laughs> he's full of grace and he's the Holy Spirit always knows how to flow. I've told you this over and over that we don't know what anybody's saying or anything. No, we, we don't. just we're go. Still, sometimes we're like Yes, we, wait. Yeah, <laughs> we just go with the flow. Yeah. And so it's That's such funny. a powerful scripture because humans you know, if you fall into the hands of humans, he cried out and he says, yeah, I'm in distress, but I want to fall in the hands of the mercy of God, Praise not Lord. into humans. So we always have to, like Priscilla said, you know, people can be cruel. They come against your uh, position your that you take for Christ. Like, you know, she's for um, the baby boxes. And, oh, there was just a oh, cruel Oh, okay. you know a little bit about that. Oh, my God, this guy <laughs> came after me. I had to block him and everything. Really? You know, wow. it was it, it, it's cruel. People mm -hmm. are cruel. And she's doing a great work with a abortion and baby boxes to save babies and there's always that person out there that is going to be very unmerciful <laughs> and like I said what you said we just bless them we go on yeah. because yeah. Mm -hmm. they they uh, are Praise ignorant them. yeah they're ignorant they know not what they're doing it's just like what mm -hmm. you know uh, Paul yep. said they know what they're doing they know not what they're doing mm -hmm. just bless them just forgive them more mm -hmm. because they know not what they're doing Amen. and then we have um, Ephesians 2 4 that's what but I had Oh, did you? I love but because this. of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, he's rich in mercy. So anything that you may have just done, Isn't that crazy? anything that the enemy's beating you up with, guess what? There's mercy for it. God is merciful. He's waiting right there to just pour out that mercy. What does he say in, uh, oh, I just lost the scripture. I mean, I know, I know the quote, but I don't know the address. If we come boldly to his throne yes. of grace, we will obtain mercy. He will pour out mercy at that time. But you've got to come boldly to the throne mm -hmm. of what? Grace. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about grace and mercy. We're going to get to grace in a minute. But we've got so much on mercy because <laughs> he's so full of grace and yeah. mercy. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've got all kinds of scriptures, but go ahead, somebody. Well, Shoot, I, I, I know look up that another one. I, I feel like there's, there's, I keep on, and I know this is not a, a ministry show, but, but I keep on feeling like there's somebody out there that's probably, that's in a prison and oh, praise the Lord. you, you're, you, you need mercy upon your life. Uh, and, yeah. and so I just want to pray for you now yes. because I, I believe God wants hey. to extend mercy yes, to you. Yes. And mercy is not getting, not getting the full punishment for what you have done, basically Ooh, forgiveness, for, um, releasing of it. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to pray for you. Thank yes. you, Father, for we this agree. person right now that's going mm -hmm. through it and, and is crying out for mercy, Lord God. They're, they're struggling. And, yes. and Father, we pray for your mercy upon them, your grace upon them, but your mercy, Lord God, that they would not get deserved even or oh, get, get punished, the punishment that, that the, the law even calls for in this. But Lord, that your grace would come upon the situation. Lord God, and, and oh, that they would just receive everything that you have and be able to say, hey, this is a testimony I have. This is what God Hallelujah. did for me. And so we thank you for that person, Lord God, and I yes. pray for freedom. Thank I pray you, for man. freedom yes. inside the prison, but Lord, I pray for, um, Lord God, just a, a mercy upon thank that you, situation in Jesus' name. Wow. Praise thank God. you, Lord. Beautiful. See, here at this, at this uh, program, this show, um, we just go with the flow, and like I said, right there, it doesn't matter, ministry show or anything, we, we're just going to follow God, and I'm so mm -hmm. glad Jen followed God, because mm -hmm. somebody was watching right at that time, and they need it. We can't just say, oh, we'll do this another time. we got to do it right I now. I saw a prison. Yes, so yes that's what right I now. Exactly. <laughs> Tell, then, at the end of this program, Charlene is going to pray a prayer of salvation, yes. and you will know mercy. The Lord, yeah. you'll become born Amen. again. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you know another scripture that is powerful in Titus 3, 5. 
that, um, you know, when we speak this word, the word of God will not return void. He says in his word, just as the rain and the snow comes down and soaks the earth and cannot return, it soaked the earth, it cannot return void. It's just like his word, it comes in and it soaks our heart and it cannot return void to him. It's going to accomplish the very thing, the purpose that he sent it forth to do. And so when we're reading this word, it's being sent forth. It's Amen. soaking. Mm -hmm. It's coming into your heart. It's powerful. It's active. It's at more active, more powerful than any double-edged sword that the enemy has that's coming against your mercy and the grace and the things that are coming against your life. It's powerful, mercy yes. and grace and the word of God that we are speaking. And right now, we speak this scripture over you, Titus 3, 5. He saved us not because of righteous things we had done because how many times does the devil trip us up oh we got to do this we got to do that if we don't pray enough if we yeah. don't seek the Lord enough if we're not quiet enough if we don't do this enough it's always that's works mm -hmm. God yeah. looks at our heart yes you can call out to him in uh, one second while you're driving to the post office and that's better than six hours that you tried <laughs> to be with him mm -hmm. you know what I mean it's it's, so it, true. It, it's he's merciful so it's not things we have done but he says because of his what mercy mm -hmm. it's because of his mercy, he saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, yeah. whom he poured out on us generously. So, you know, he's generously pouring out on you. This word of God is washing over you. It's decreeing. It's being declared. It's being proclaimed over your life today. And we don't take this lightly. God has put us on television with millions of people, girls. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. so we are accountable and we're doing the best we can. Do we know it all? Absolutely not. We're all learning every day, but we trust that the Holy Spirit will give us exactly what your heart needs and what everybody needs today. No, we aren't perfect, but we're praying that the mercy of God will be poured through this camera, just like yes. what Jen yes. prayed a few minutes ago when she seen that person in prison, because we've gotten letters mm -hmm. from prison. There's people that watch us and we just pray that that mercy is poured over you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We, you know, talk about prison, Jen, what Jen was saying. I think oh, God's greatest mercy, amazing to me. I mean, I've seen mafiosos on television that had killed people and got converted and yeah. served the Lord yeah. in ministry. Yes. That's amazing. That's good. Also, how about the Apostle Paul? Yes. <laughs> when he was on the road to Emmaus. Mm -hmm. I mean, this man murdered yes. Christians. Christians. Yeah. I mean, he went out he of his way. He was one of the worst, too. Yeah. I mean, you talk yeah. about the mercy of God to strike Paul down and save him. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. And then grace. Mm -hmm. makes him the greatest apostle that of ever grace. lived. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, greatest me. apostle of grace. Yes, that's yeah. our God. Hallelujah. That's why we need to read Hallelujah. the Bible. Because yes. these are things we never think of on our own. Mm -hmm. It's so true. We have mm -hmm. to know what the Word of God says, and it's so exciting. It's so true. Yeah. You know, it Hallelujah. says that grace is comparable to immeasurable riches. And she started reading in Ephesians 2, 4, where it says, But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love which He loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved, <coughs> and raised up with Him, and seated with Him in heavenly places with Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages He might show the immeasurable riches of His grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. What a powerful um, verse. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know, we, we should have stamped. <laughs> <laughs> across our forehead. No condemnation. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. That's so true. The, the whole gospel is based on grace. Yeah. Yep. 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 And, you know, there was a man, his name was John Newton. <coughs> Excuse me. He lived a life of total debauchery. Mm -hmm. He was a man that in, the, in a storm on the high seas, he accepted the Lord. But all of his life, he was responsible for buying and selling hundreds of slaves, wow. hundreds of lives mm -hmm. destroyed because of him, hundreds of lives ruined, a life of debauchery. Ten years after his conversion, he was still not 100%. He was still mm -hmm. sinning. But then what did God do What in his grace? He gave him the greatest hymn ever written, yeah. Amazing Grace, uh -huh. yep. Amazing yep. Grace, how sweet the sound, sound. that saved a, a wretch, wretch like me. me. 
Mm -hmm. I once was lost. Were you ever lost? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But now we're found. Mm -hmm. We were blind. Mm -hmm. If you are not saved, you are blind. Amen. Ask God to That's remove the, the, the veil from your eyes so that you mm -hmm. could see mm -hmm. him. Amen. And now Amen. I see. That's what it's saying. Amen. 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 Really, oh, yeah. go ahead. No, go ahead. No, nope, no. Nope, I'm you good. You know, grace, grace is, I, I wrote down, grace is a blessing blessing us despite the fact we don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. yes. So, you know, and it's, and it's interesting because I kind of had to even kind of decipher, okay, between mercy and grace, mercy is something we do deserve, but we don't get it because God's mercy is so oh, great. So but good. but God's, God's grace is just giving us something like His Spirit, His presence, salvation, yeah. and we we didn't do anything to deserve it. So yeah. it's kind of yeah. it's interesting to me to the difference between the mm -hmm. two because um, we none of us have been able to earn anything to receive yeah. salvation, but we just have to receive. If you're yeah, struggling, exactly. just receive from Him. That's what He yes. wants to do. Yes. He wants to impart into you that grace and mercy, and and all you have to do really isn't that true? Just just, yes. just receive. Say, Jesus, Amen. I want you. I want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's I all. Want you, Lord. And you know, it says uh, in uh, 1 Peter 1, 3, Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, it's like what we're talking about, salvation. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So you're in all of these uh, different places. Hey, He's given you new birth. He's given you great mercy to come out of those places. And just do it today. Like like we're all saying, just, just come to the mercy of God. Run to the throne of grace. You know, it says in, um, uh, let me see, where am I at right now? <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, anyways, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from what? The father full of what? Grace and truth. Mm -hmm. It's in John 1, John 1, mm -hmm. 14. And so we, ha we get um, grace and truth, you know, and again, I say that scripture, when you go boldly to his throne, you go boldly. Don't go like, oh my God, is he really going to do this? Mm. Is he really a merciful God? Oh, is he really full of grace because of what you did or what you said or what you've been, who knows where you've been or what you've been into. You don't have to go like that because because of the blood of Jesus, he renews you. And the moment you go with a humble heart and just come and say, Lord, I, I really need your mercy right now. Mm. It says if you come boldly to his throne, of grace, you will obtain mercy. There's grace and mercy right there because he's a throne of grace, full of grace, full of unmerited favor, yeah, right. full of everything that we don't deserve that you will get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yet he'll pour out the mercy with it. And it's just so wonderful. He's a wonderful guy. <laughs> Remember the prodigal son? Yep. You know, mm -hmm. so many of you out there right now, you're thinking, I, I've sinned too much. God mm -hmm, can't forgive mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there, I think the prodigal son felt the same way in the Bible, but, but that, that God knew how rebellious he was. He didn't care if his father died. As long as he got his inheritance, he was out of there. Mm -hmm. And he was so arrogant. And then he lived this hideous life of running, running wild, mm -hmm. uh, just a total night person. But he came home. Why? Because he was tired of, after he spent all the money, he found that the pigs in his father's house ate better than he yeah. was eating. Wow. Mm -hmm. So he came home, never thinking that his father would forgive him. Mm -hmm. He was but waiting mercy, for him. Mercy, mercy, his mm -hmm. father forgave him. Mm -hmm. and, and then grace, he put a royal robe on him and put an That's expensive awesome. ring on his finger yes. and killed a fatted calf so that he could have a big party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's beautiful. And, and, and yes, and, and that is grace. Doing. And that's our God. Yep. There's a, a and when he's in your heart, when you've, when you've made him the Lord of your life, when you say, Jesus, come into my heart, you'll understand. I just pray for understanding for all of us in yes. Jesus' name, Amen. to know the mind of Christ. Amen. And he gives us that mind, doesn't Amen. he? Amen. There's, there's another story, Matthew, about the man that owed all this money. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
lots and lots of money. It was a lot of money. I, mm -hmm. I forget how much it was, but it was a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. And, and he was, you know, he, he, he begged for mercy. He begged this this sir you know this he, pastor mm -hmm. over him from mercy and he gave it to him and he re released all his mm -hmm. uh, problem Dead. you know I, it was a lot it was yeah. a whole lot it wasn't a little Millions. bit yeah that's what it says it was a lot of money and so this man goes off and he's released and his family's released from mm -hmm. all this mm -hmm. debt and mm -hmm. and then he goes and <clears throat> he finds someone that owes him money this little dude that owes him like 20 bucks or something mm -hmm. like that and you know gets him by the throat and and tries to you got to pay me my money yes. and and he says have mercy and he didn't show mercy mm -mm. he didn't show mercy so i i think you know this is a big mm -hmm. this is uh, an example of yes. our life of forgiveness with god that he's shown such mercy on us that you know, if you're holding on to unforgiveness, if you're holding something against somebody, now's the time to let go of it. Let Show go. mercy because God has shown mercy to you. Don't hang on to things yes. because it hinders you, but it hinders everything. You can't be forgiven. So what happened to this man that couldn't forgive this twenty or forty dollar debt? He was torn. He was thrown in the jail cells and in an outer darkness, and, and he was cast out wow. and he yes. was tormented. Yeah. And you know what? What happens to us when we can't forgive and we can't have mercy? We get tormented yes, because the enemy has a doorway released. in. Exactly. It's a gateway. We said that a, a couple of times before, but but it unforgiveness is. is a big gateway for the enemy to come in and torment us. So if we're hanging on to unforgiveness mm -hmm. and not having mercy for people, you know, God forgave us of everything. So even if it's been something in your life that was. I know it's been, they're, they're really devastating things. Yes, there but is. for you, for you not to be in prison, you have to release them. You have, you to, have to mercy. I love mm -hmm. it. Were you reading my notes? Because you knew I, where I was I going. Just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so <laughs> if we practice more, more grace and less judgment, how different would this world be? Ooh, Think yes. about that. Christians, we're supposed to be Way the different. epitome of grace. Yes. And yet we're the first one to throw the first stone. Mm -hmm. You think about that? Yeah. Yeah. But in, in uh, Matthew 7, it says, Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log mm -hmm. that is in your own eye? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so understanding grace is important. Great. But that alone won't change a life unless we move from the knowledge of grace to the understanding of grace, mm -hmm. and lastly, to the application of grace. We can't just speak about it as Christians and expect, oh yeah, yeah grace, 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 grace. But when are we showing it? We're the first ones to say, oh yeah, Kenneth Copeland, no, 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 he's just words, words, words. No, we need to lift each other up in the body of Christ, not be throwing the first stone. Don't, don't do that. I, I think that's like the ugliest thing we as Christians can do to one another. Mm -hmm. Why don't we lift each other up? Mm. That's true. And we do, mm -hmm. and we do. There are those that do, but there are those that don't. <laughs> I know, we do, but you <laughs> yeah. know, there's times where there's, yeah, there's a lot of times that the don't. people that don't. People mm -hmm. are yeah. trying, you know, and, and, True. and we, we all make mistakes. And even yeah. as ministers of the gospel, there's things that we, yeah. we're, we're, we're fallible. <laughs> you know, yeah. Only God's infallible. <laughs> exactly, but in Matthew 7, 2, I want you to ponder this. It says, for in the way you judge, you will be, we'll judged. be judged. And by the standard of measure, mm -hmm. it will be measured to you. Wow, that's such a scary scripture. Mm. It is. And you know, uh, and the thing is, is when you're talking about all that on the other side of mercy and grace, you know, it really is true. God says he gives grace to the humble mm -hmm. and resists the proud. I'm going to mm -hmm. read the scripture to Ephesians yeah. 2, 8 and 9, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. I mean, I'm sorry, it's the wrong one. That's James. I mean, that's a, I don't know where I got that one. <laughs> but James, 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 sorry, 4, 6. But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says, the word of God says this, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Um, God Amen. has so, so faithful. He's full of grace. He's full of grace. And if you are humble. I didn't know if that was a two minute mark. It's five. It's, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that kind of I'm sorry. Time. I'm sorry. Sometimes we get a little confused up here. I didn't know if it was time yet, but um, it's true. All we got to do is everything that the, uh, the girls are saying, you know, it's all God is full of mercy and grace, but you have to not be all proud and I don't, I don't need this. You just got to be humble and cry mm -hmm. out to God mm -hmm. and his mercy and his grace yeah. is right there to pick you up and rock your world. You know, I, I think of the man that was uh, needing, he was lying in the road 
and he was needing assistance. He was lying there bleeding. Mm -hmm. And three different people, including a priest, walked right by him. Uh -huh. But mercy bandages the wounds of the, lying, uh, the, uh, the poor man lying on the road. Mm. And grace, remember, when the Good Samaritan came by, he not only took him you know, for aid, but he also paid the man at the hotel, or whatever they call it in those days. <laughs> the, the, inn. <laughs> the, the, inn. <laughs> the inn. The innkeeper paid him for a month to take care of this man. So that's awesome. grace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, it's so important how we treat each other. Mm -hmm. And that's, I mean, it says to love the Lord your God with all your heart, everything mm -hmm. inside yeah. you, but we're supposed to love our neighbors as ourselves. And so yeah. how we treat each other is huge. And how, how we extend that grace and love to each other is, is a, and mercy yeah. <laughs> to each other is a, is a big deal to God. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and I believe in, in it, you know, the day that we stand before God, we're accountable, yes. you know, we're accountable how we treat each other. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I just think it's super important. Yeah. And mercy. that ultimate grace yeah. was bestowed upon us. How could we not bestow it upon exactly. us? Oh, really? The ultimate grace. The yeah. ultimate, I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. cross. Yes, and None when we obey it. God, it's the best. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. so happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything flows just perfectly. And when we don't, we're miserable. Yeah, yeah. Yep. that's true. <laughs> it's true. It's because He knows best. Why? Because He has the best for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He cares about us. Mm -hmm. He only wants the best for us. And, uh, you know, I think of the thief on the cross. Mm -hmm. Lord knows the, the, what he committed in order to be hanging on that cross. And he, he asked for mercy to Jesus. God. And Jesus not only gave him mercy, but let him go to paradise. Yeah. And, with that, yeah, and with that yeah. said, it's a perfect ending Grace. of the program. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're just so, we're just, you know, uh, in Titus 2.11, before I bring you to the Lord, it says, for the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. Mm. It's the grace of God, and he offers it to all people. Does that mean all people? That means, well, we were yet sinners. He died for us. Yes. yes. We were a mess. And, and yes. people say, oh, you don't talk to sinners. He don't, you know, what? Mm. We wouldn't have been saved if he didn't right. speak to this old sinner right here, let right. me tell you. And so he loves you. He doesn't care what you've done. He wants you to come to him just as you are right now and receive him. And all yes. you have to do is to receive that grace and mercy is to say, Jesus, Come into my heart, forgive me of my sin. You know, and, and release. There's a lot of you, like what uh, Jen touched on today, the tormentors, tormentors are only allowed when you have unforgiveness in your heart. So just say, God, forgive me of my sins. Uh -huh. Come into my life. I believe with my um, mouth. I mean, believe with my heart, confess with my mouth, merge those two, and you are saved. Yeah. Call our prayer lines if you've done that. Go tell somebody, because all heaven is rejoicing when one sinner comes to the Lord. Right. And we just love you. We're so grateful to be a part. And we're, we're just, we can't wait to get to heaven to see all the people that really did get saved. We know yes. a lot of people that did because we, we hear about it. Oh, that's exciting. But there's a lot of people we don't know we're going to meet. Mm -hmm. And just yeah. through this show, we're so humbled and honored. Thank if you, um, you haven't done so, could you go to our website and... Um, uh, for a $15 love gift or more, order God's new anointing oil. It helps us keep coming into your home and around the world for the gospel yes. of Jesus Christ. We love you. Remember, you can uh, watch us on iPhones and Droids. You can go to YouTube. You can watch us on TV. You can watch us all over on Roku. And uh, we're just so thrilled, again, what God is doing and bringing us into your home each week. Uh, tell your friends, we love you. It's only goodbye for today. Tune in next program. Mwah.